Hey guys, Super Charmander 1 here. It's been a while since I've done a top 5 list, but I got another one I wanted to do. Alright, today is the top 5 most annoying enemies in video games. Just before I get started, I want to go over some ground rules. 1. I'm not including bosses, they don't count. Alright, well, without further ado, let's get this shit rolling. <laughs> Number 5, I decided to put the mole rats in the Fallout games. Just looking at these things would put them on this list. They're freaking creepy. First time I saw them, I shit my pants. Okay, well, picture this. Okay, I just escaped Vault 101 from Fallout 3, and I'm walking around, and I have no idea what to do. All I have with me is a baseball bat and a tenon pistol to defend myself. I, will, I go off the road, then a swarming brand of mole rats come and just bite at me and claw me, and I'm using up all my ammo. And they always attack in groups. When the, and to make matters worse, if you stay with the fight too long, they're going to call in some dogs there. Uh, dogs will be on the list, but the dogs don't look freaking scary. <coughs> Our number four are the slicers from Sonic. Basically, these guys are some of Dr. Eggman's robots that throw swords. What makes them so annoying is that the swords usually home in on you, and they always stay on the edges, so you have about a split second to react before, bam, they hit you. And you'll most likely land on a shell cracker as well. But hey, at least they're somewhat merciful. The slicers show no mercy. <coughs> Number three are the creepers from Minecraft. These guys have been a staple of Minecraft ever since it's first released. You know that these are the monsters that you're going to have the most trouble with. I would put the Endermen on here, but let's face it, the Endermen aren't that common. Anyways, let's go back to the Creepers. What makes them so annoying is the fact that you can't fight them with a ranged weapon unless you are super fast. Because when you defeat them, they will explode. Heck, even if they just walk up to you, they'll explode. And don't even think about letting them in your house. Because they'll destroy all your hard work. I hate them. And don't think about wasting your bow and arrow. You're going to need them when you fight the creepers. <coughs> Number two are the Falcons from Ninja Gaiden. We all know Ninja Gaiden is a super hard game. But when you throw in Falcons that will attack you whenever you're jumping. And then you'll blow back, fall down a cliff. Yeah, enough said. Oh my god, I can't freaking stand it! I can't stand these stupid enemies. Alright, number one are the Medusa heads from the game Castlevania 1 and 3. My gosh, these things are so annoying. First of all, they almost never die. They always go into a wavy line for you. You, you kill one, they respawn. You kill one, respawn. Respawn, 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 respawn. And then, and they also go on a wavy, so it's not exactly easy to get them for a weapon. It, well, a ranged weapon, like the knife. And, worst of all, in Castlevania 3, they always come at the most inconvenient moments. Like when you're walking up the stairs, they'll hit you, and you'll fall back. And also, Castlevania's jumping controls aren't bad. You can't control yourself while midair. You go in one direction, which, of course, you can't switch back uh, to avoid the Medusa heads. So overall, the Medusa heads just make the experience so hard from a game that's so great. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Bye.